What was that? No, no, I'm good. I appreciate it though. Thank you. What was that? Oh, do I have a reason to be? You said in the back lot. I'm not in the back lot. Oh yeah, I do. I have a reason, for sure. What's that? What is that? Uh, my own personal reasons. Okay. Well, I need you to step back until the gate closes. Negative. I'll, I'm good right here. What's the word, Bay fam? It's Mr. Bay Area Transparency back in here with another audit coming to you from Fairfield, California, up here in Solano County, the northern part of the Bay Area. So I went to the California Highway Patrol office for the Solano area in Fairfield, like I just said, and I ended up running into this police officer, and we had a long, uh, fairly cordial conversation. After speaking with this officer, um, I didn't feel the need to push on him and to and to make sure he understood that he needed to respect my rights in the same way I feel like I need to do with most police officers. Um, he didn't share a lot of the same characteristics as other police officers that we run across in the field while we are auditing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys be the judge of his character and his characteristics, but in all honesty... Uh, I feel this officer had humility, integrity, and honor. And we don't find that a lot. And I'm just being honest. We don't find that a lot while doing audits. He went ahead and took a chance and wrote me an email, not knowing if me was me. <laughs> but I'm going to read part of this email. Here we go. I believe it was you I had the pleasure of me of interacting today at the CHP Solano office in Fairfield, California. If it wasn't you, feel free to stop by for a first time. First Amendment audits are commendable in all aspects of public service, political offices included. We would greatly benefit from them. If it was indeed you, thank you for the fun and cordial conversation. I do have to say as a highway patrol officer, I am so used to interactions on the freeways where people are driving that I defaulted to the laws associated to those contacts from vehicle violations in which the persons are required by law to identify themselves. And that is a California Vehicle Code um, Bay Fam that we know. Um, so I am glad that you got me back on my feet for pedestrian interactions. As we discussed, there is no legal standing or need to provide ID. So, this is his email to me, and this is what he said, and he said some other stuff that I won't share, but I think this cop was awesome, I'm not gonna lie, please be the judge, I haven't really had the um, opportunity to really highlight an officer like this yet on my channel, and I'm gonna be honest, though we went around in circles a couple times and had a couple little little clashes in the conversation when it ended, I left with a lot of respect for this officer, and I mean that sincerely. I really enjoyed our conversation, and I, I hope this man gets bumped up. He needs to be the chief down here in Solano. I'm not going to lie. This guy was awesome. He was badass. His attitude was awesome. His thought process on audits was awesome. Um, I don't know. You guys be the Judge Bay fam, and I won't hold you any longer. All right, what's going on, Bay Fam? A little windy today. I'm sorry if wind's an issue on my mic, um, on the my phone. Obviously, I'm just recording on my phone. I'm here in the city of Fairfield, California, and uh, so yeah, I like to come to Fairfield because I've had so many incidents with the officers that I make it a point to come out here um, whenever I can. And most of the time, I go out and do audits. Uh, just as I'm driving somewhere, um, you know, I'm going out to here or there and I stop by, oh, let me go see this city, let me go see that city while I'm here, let me do this. So a lot of the times my audits are just done randomly like that. Um, and a lot of the times people ask me to go places and I do because they're telling me they're bad. So here I am today, I'm at the CHP here in Fairfield, California um solano area chp you can see it on that sign right there uh trying not to get that lady um and so i'm just gonna go ahead and check it out i had somebody tell me that they went here 
because they had got a fix-it ticket on their car to get some signed off and the officers um, ended up talking them into a search of their vehicle and some other crazy stuff when they were just getting a ticket signed off um, so I don't think that that's necessary and so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, film as much as I can all around this area so bear with me we're gonna do the CHP I'm actually gonna walk around the perimeter of the building just to see um, you know what's open and what's not so give me a bit of bay fam and i'll be right back at it all right so it seems like this is the area where they do the maintenance and i'm just here in the back fence they really got a a serious fence around this department they got razor wire and bobbed wire in there um and you can see the cars through the gate just getting worked on the highway patrol um, california highway patrol and i haven't had a whole lot of interactions with the highway patrol but the ones i have had seem pretty pretty you know i don't know decent um they are the state police a lot of people don't know that the california highway patrol and the california state police merged a long time ago and so highway patrol are considered state troopers out here in california so that's a little bit of knowledge for you guys they got a big old antenna up there um so i'm still just walking around the back i'm gonna see where this fence ends i'm actually in the dollar tree parking lot because that's what their perimeter is at so you can see the police cars in there right there so um they're definitely trying to create privacy with this fence that's for sure um but they don't do you know too good of a job because we can just kind of see right through it um and it's no big deal you know we should be able to see through it I think. okay so now we're coming on into the uh parking lot uh violators will be towed so they come around here and check out this gate and just look i saw a uh vehicle in the back with this whole front torn off so i thought i'd check that out pretty interesting we got a caltrans vehicle here i didn't know uh that this was partly caltrans but i guess it is i thought it was all chp but i guess not That's cool. Caltrans. Oh, they got some mics in there, some CB radios. That's the vehicle that I saw with the front bumper tore off. So they must be had a little bit of damage on it or whatever, and they must be fixing it. So that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of stuff going on over there. No, just kind of checking things out. I said, no, I'm good. Just kind of checking things out. Oh, okay, what's that for? What was that? What's the pictures for? Uh, just for my own personal use. Uh, I'll fucking take the pictures up, bro. Really? Yeah. Uh, I should be good. I don't see why not, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to be not for your own personal use. Oh, shit. Um, all right. Yeah, now, if you want to take pictures, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got to show some type of credentials, and I can go get a sergeant or a lieutenant for you. Gotcha. No, I don't need a sergeant or a lieutenant. I thought I, um, I, thought I should be good to take pictures. Um, just getting some cool pictures of some cool stuff around, that's all. Oh, okay. I should be good. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I am. Okay, Bay fam. So, literally standing at the gate for like a minute or two, and already we had one of the workers. He's obviously one of the maintenance workers or the mechanical guys. 
coming up and uh, asking me why I'm taking pictures and so on and so forth. So we'll see how this one ends. I'm actually going to go do the uh, slip and slide on them and actually go to the other side of the building right now. I'm going to leave the camera on right now for a minute. Sirens. Obviously, some fire engines going somewhere. So we got the flag blowing in the background. That was a pretty cool shot. The flag blowing in the background and the flag at half staff. So it looks like we got a car coming out here. Go ahead and let them come out. And kind of just look at everything. That's pretty cool. What was that? Can I help you No, no, I'm good. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Okay. Do you have a reason to be in the back lot that you're looking back there? What was that? Oh, do I have a reason to be, you said in the back lot? I'm not in the back lot. Oh yeah, I do. I have a reason for sure. What's that? What is that? Uh, my own personal reasons. Okay. Well, I need you to step back until the gate closes. Negative. I'll, I'm good right here. Well, I can't have anyone coming in the back. Yeah, so I, I, I agree. So the gate closes. Right. Back by like that down spot there. No, I'm good. I should be good right here. The gate can still close. I'm not blocking it. Should be good. Okay. I guess now she's not pulling back or pulling out for some reason. And uh looks like we're got another officer walking up. I know what the problem is. It was taking some pictures. Cool. The gate's gonna close and should be good. <laughs> good pictures I guess so it looks like these uh, officers are baffled by what I'm doing uh, I'm just taking some pictures shouldn't be I don't think it's a problem um, you know, I'm, I'm cooperative but I also don't have to move just because they want me to like it's not my job to make sure nobody goes in the back it's your job so if you have to stand there and watch me then do it other than that, you should just go ahead and drive on. Let's go see what they're talking about. Just some more cups. Cool. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Doing a, what is it, audit? What was that? Doing a citizen's audit. Citizens at it? No, I don't know what that is. I'm just taking some pictures. Now I'm a little bit nervous because you guys are coming out. Well, I don't on know state why you're property. here. It's right. a, a CHP office. So gotcha. that's why we're out here because there's someone reporting. Oh, so gotcha. It, it is suspicious because that's a back lot which isn't public access. Right. So it would be irresponsible if we didn't come and check and see what you were doing. Oh, gotcha. It's just like an yeah. hour over at your house recording from mm. the public sidewalk gotcha You'd be like what are you doing right right so so this is kind of like your guys' house going on. you can do this but we need to see what's what's going on on state property just the same as if i were at your house like i said yeah so this is kind of like your house a little I'm, bit. I'm on the public sidewalk so i could do this but you'd be like well why are you recording my house and the comings and goings, right, of my house. Gotcha. You would be curious too. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is kind of like your guys' house, and that's why you're coming to look, or? 
yeah, using that as an analogy. Right. It's state property, we're state workers, we're law enforcement. You know that it's weird to have someone come. I have no reason I'm supporting. I, I mean, I thought that you guys might talk to me, but I didn't think it was weird. Um, you know, I think it's fine. I'm just getting some shots of cars. And the only reason why I started recording is because you guys kind of started coming close to me, so what now I'm recording. What cars? Any cars back there, yeah. Police cars, for, typically. For yeah. what? Uh, just for my own purposes. Okay. Just just cool stuff you know i went around back and was taking photos all the way from the back gate of your guys antenna with the wire and the clouds over just okay. cool do you have your id with you photography you know what i mean do you have your id with you uh i do yeah you see that? i believe i do have it may i see that for for what though you're on state property right photographs I, and video of state yeah I, well i'm taking yeah i agree with okay, that if we come and contact you you're required to identify yourself if we ask. Okay. There, that's actually a law. Gotcha. So that's the reason. Okay. So that's a that's a law that I have to identify. Yeah, if we inquire. Right. Your identity. You're right. Required to provide. Right. Are. Right. Kind of like. That's kind of weird. I didn't. I didn't know that that was a law. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, confu of, I'm confused. I don't know the laws, right? Super thick, right? Right. Or yeah. Like the, the vehicle code, penal code, health and safety code, all those different things, right? Right, right, right. A ton of laws. I don't even know them all. Right? right. And I wouldn't expect anyone to know them. Well, since you're asking for my identity, can I have your name and sure. uh, maybe your badge it's number? James Morell, M O R R E L L, badge number one eight seven zero two. Cool, one eight seven zero two. And what about yours, there? One nine zero eight six. Cool. Okay. So well, I appreciate it. I think I'll just kind of continue to take some pictures sure. and hang out. You have your ID handy? Uh, yeah. I'm not going to give it to you. Okay. Do you have your ID verbally handy for me? Yeah, I'm still not going to give it to you. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Just because I don't want to. Because that's not actually not a law. <laughs> it, it is. So it's not. You want to Google it, or you want me to Google it? Since you apparently know everything. Go Google. Google, go ahead, Google it. Okay. Right. This will be awesome. <laughs> this will be awesome. This will be a learning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I like to get taught. I mean, like I said, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, so no, you're not doing I shouldn't have like, to ID. What did I say in the beginning? No, it, you said it's perfectly legal for right. me to do this. And then, yeah. And then yeah. I just went on to tell you, hey, it's just suspicious, so we okay. need to check it out. Right, okay. Right. No, I, I get that. I'm not trying to give you guys a hard, hard time by any means or anything like that. At this point, I'm just kind of recording for my safety and documentation in case okay, you guys. You're perfectly safe, man. I, 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 I'm a little scared, although you don't have a firearm. He does. I, I'm afraid of guns, actually. Oh, you have one on your. You're, you're, a, a, you're, you're, you're a lefty. You had a police station. You're so a lefty, huh? There's, of course, going to be guns. If you're afraid of guns, why are you going to a location that has guns? On top of that, you have a shirt with ammunition on it. It's gun style. I know you're not afraid of guns. Yeah, but this isn't a real gun. Okay. This is a shirt. It's like, uh, I'm afraid of ink. Or, or needles, but I get ink all over my body. It's, it's always silly. Right. So we're going to Google a law. I like it. Well, you said you don't Ooh. believe that it's law, so I'm going to show you the law that it is. Right. right. Yeah. No, that's cool. I appreciate that. Not a problem. Most people obviously don't Ooh. like to hear it from someone's mouth, so they like to read it in writing. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see the law if it's there, you know. Yes. Um, like, I'm just here getting cool pictures. I'm, I'm a photographer. I'm actually trying to open up an actual photography business. Yeah. So, um, you know, I just get cool pictures and see how they turn out, put backgrounds on them and stuff like that sometimes, you know. So, it's a little hobby. What's the company's name? Uh, I haven't formed it yet. I don't I don't know. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll, what's your name? What's your last name again? Awesome Morel. Maybe it'll be morale photography, more like morale. You know what I mean? Like boosting the morale. That'd be cool. So while you're looking for the law, I guess I just go ahead and keep taking yeah, some yeah, pictures, huh? Again. We're looking for a law that doesn't exist. Oh, they're whispering something and 
we're like I said, we're looking over here looking for a law that doesn't exist, of course. This is a good one. I like playing dumb sometimes. So where are you from, man? What was that? Where, where are you from? Around here? Uh, no. Actually, far away from here. Okay. Just, just traveling through. From Southern California? What was that? From California, right? Oh, yeah. I'm from California. Yeah. The U.S., typically. <laughs> Wherever the wind blows, I go, you know? Kind of one of those things. find the lot yet all right i got a feeling you're gonna be looking for a long time there brother okay. <laughs> i've seen these things on youtube you know where, where guys do these things and yeah and it doesn't i mean there's never a law so that's why i'm just curious like i i really hope you find one so i can prove all these guys wrong Required to show your driver's license. Oh yeah. But you're not driving. Right. Right. We typically deal with driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, I, I hope you guys find one so I can show you ID and we can prove all these these fuckers on the internet wrong. Well, I have no problem with anyone doing anything like that. Like I said, you're not doing anything wrong out here. You're just acting suspicious because in reality you have no legitimate reason to be out here doing it because you're just doing it for your own curiosity. Again, like I said. That's legitimate. Well. It's not actually like I like I said. If you go over to your house and be like, "Hey, man, I'm just recording for my own curiosity or for my own footage," which it's not really legitimate. It's yeah. Too. Well, I mean, it's it's one of those things like you're using the analogy of your house, but I mean, realistically, this isn't good, your guys' house, right? You said this is state property, so it's like somebody filming at somebody's house. Yeah, I'd probably be a little offended, you know, and well, it's not whatever. Even but it's just weird. Yeah, I mean could be weird but come into a uh you know chp or a police department and taking some pictures of the cars i mean people are fascinated with police right in the same way people are fascinated with what else do people watch inmates with drama right people like the suspense they like the drama they like the uh, like uh yeah it's it's the whole you know it's the effect right so somebody coming here filming cars and maybe a cop car pulling out with his lights on or something cool like that i mean that's not suspicious i don't see why that would be suspicious so no yeah you're right unless you commit any other crime you don't have to identify yourself i know i'm very aware of that because i study so the laws if you're doing something <laughs> else like uh trespassing harassing mm -hmm. anything like that so if these guys back here are talking to you and you're shouting back at them i'm knocking our door because we don't want any of you guys shouting at each other okay because then it's harassment well it, vice versa that's what i said either guys that's so if they're okay shouting at you you come knock on our door i'll leave you alone on that one what's that i'll leave you alone on that <laughs> one because it wouldn't be harassment just consider harassment shouting back and forth that somebody depends on what well, you're saying what you're saying right yes. right right but, okay. so no law that we have to identify unless you're committing a different offense In, or a like, different or offense driving. or a offense because right now we agree there's no offense right yeah, yeah, yeah. i said there's no offense and there's no suspicion of any offense no it's still suspicious it's still weird suspicious but, but, but not of an offense suspicion isn't breaking a law it, it's not a crime itself. right Cool. So, and you know that uh, i do so, but if you're driving though um, you're required to miss, I, uh, it's uh, show your id like i said but you got one but you guys have to have a reason to pull the car over correct right so like again there has to be another reason so uh -huh. we're, super, we're super used to that right right because we're the chp so that's the first thing that came to my mind right but it's okay so hey um just watch out for all the state vehicles when you're out here 
Oh, no directives, no directives. You're doing good, don't start it. Well, I can tell you not to mess with state property. I know, it's, it's easy but, to but you don't have to tell, do you randomly just go up to people and go, hey, don't mess with these vehicles, well, don't mess with state property. I'm gonna leave you alone, so I'm just telling you because that's, you're on state property. Right, right, right. And, and I'm, I'm just, just I'm, I'm, he I'm well, helping you because I want you to pass this audit. Uh, that's great, like, so, <laughs> like I said, you knew, I, knew, I knew it from the start, right? I said, hey, are you doing an audit? You're, you're doing, doing very well. Doing I am doing an audit That's and you're doing very That's well. Great. I really appreciate you actually. So, yeah. I'm going to highlight you on my channel. Uh, so again, state vehicles, you know the deal. Uh -huh. It's just like your personal property. But no directives, no directives. So, what, here. That's the explain problem. To me. Explain, come on, okay, explain yeah, to me yeah, I will, I will. How, so that's the problem. That's the problem with with a lot of the uh, a lot of us that, that that feel that police overstep their boundaries and there's a huge gap between the community and officers, okay. right? I'm not telling well, you. Well, hold on. You're asking. You're asking. So let me. I'm just setting the stage for what sure. I'm about to say. Sure. So what we don't like is that officers tend to go, hey, you're. That's okay what you're doing, but don't do any of this stuff or don't cross the street that way. And, and what our response sometimes is, 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 hey, don't run with scissors. Yeah. Don't beat your wife. Don't eat yellow snow, sure. right? We respond that way, right? Because yeah. I can too also give you directives. Well, yeah, so yeah. what we want, directives. right, is yeah. officers just to only obey the law and that's it. So if we're not doing anything well, wrong, citizen, don't right? give any directives. Just obey the law. Right, but, and we, and I am right now. If you were dealing with another citizen out there that wasn't doing it, or that was doing something wrong then yeah maybe you would give him some directives but with with us somebody who's not doing anything wrong there's no need to you there's it's, no it's to, almost like it's they it's to, almost like right? you guys have to have the last word and it makes you look bad no. and i honestly i'm honestly yeah. i'm gonna go to my channel and say that you guys passed this you're gonna be highlighted it's gonna be a good audit i probably That's won't get great. any views but <laughs> it's boring because it's boring um, yeah, no, no, no. But you guys got to clear that up. It's, well, you know. here, let, let's, so from that, right, we don't need the last word or anything like that. Right. Whatever. And it's not illegal to give a directive. It's not. Right. It could, correct. So, so, in saying, hey, man, but citizens don't, don't, don't have to this. follow the directives. Well, so, like, right now, like, you don't said, break the law, right? like, yeah, like, something that, like, yeah, you don't have to follow that. You can go right. break the law all you want. And then there's consequences to break well, the like law. Well, like, when you say something it, like simple. that, like, like I'm thinking, okay, you're saying watch out for the state vehicles. I will go right up to that state vehicle right now and record oh, yeah, right inside it, the record and record right inside the state vehicle. I don't so mind. why would you even care. give the delay? It should just be okay, cool, man. Hey, you're good. I'm either gonna stay with you till you get the hell out of here, or I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll see you later. You know what I, I mean? Gotcha. Like I got, no directives, no directives. You don't, you don't want them. Right? Yeah, we don't need them. Just, don't there's no them. need for you it. You don't need them. You can't speak because for it's everybody. person to person right now. You can't speak for everybody. You wouldn't like to have them from law enforcement. I get it. Right. It's, it's your super well, simple. it's it's the my point is it's here. I guess I'll take it one step further. It's purposeless because right now it's not it's not officer who has authority. It's officer who actually has less authority than me right now, right? Well, I have the same authority so, as you, same as a citizen. No, we're because both, you're in a you're a, you're in your official capacity. So sure. you have less because I haven't committed a crime. Check this out, right? So that's I'm, what it is. It's like I'm my citizen, it's my employee now telling me what to do. Oh, I'm employed by the right? state. But I know, but out. you're employed by us because our taxes pay for you, it. You want to hear this or not? Oh, I'm I, just trying to. Sure. I'm trying to settle the last topic. Okay. Go ahead. You need to let me speak to for you, sure. Just like I let no, you. No, no, and I will and go I ahead. Listen, okay? I can so, see you're getting irritated. This no, is no, cool. This is where the audit goes south. No, it's not going south. It's just. If you're speaking over another person, person, talking person to person talking, mm -hmm. it's just, hey man, let them talk because they let you talk. That kind right. of But I was still trying person, to finish. I was still person. trying to finish. Yeah. Do you, well, do you want to finish? No, 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 go ahead. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I I'm good. I had finished. No, I, mean, I got it out. You started speaking when I was speaking. I got so. it out. Cool. So, as far as saying I have less, what was it, your verbiage? Uh, I'd have, have less, to, I'd have to replay you, it. Yeah. I, I think I said somebody who has less authority than me right now. Yes. So, so, what you do. So, so that one, the less authority thing is, mm -hmm. it's not even an authority issue for, for us or me or anything like that, but things like that. It's again, like a person to person. I'm a person. Correct. You take all this off. I'm a person. Yeah. Yeah. It's I just a costume, right? It, well, it's uniform. 
Well, yeah, costume, sure. uniform, same thing. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That's yeah. semantics. Now. I mean, it's just, you're playing, it's dress up, right? I mean, you're an officer, you're up and right I respect too. officers. You're dressed up right now, too. Right? You they, don't get me wrong, I say, I say it on my channel if, all the if, time. If that's the verbiage you want to use, that's fine. Uh, this is America. It just put it out there. So, I say it on my channel all the time. I'm not anti-cop, because there's a lot of dope-ass cops out there, and there really is. I'm anti-bad cop right we're so so too. it's just a costume like when you take it off you're one of us and and no, you're one of the I, people I of this country citizen. you know yeah, I am a yeah. I am a and that has to be there so it has as, to be right here as a person essentially when you're saying we well, you have less authority than me i don't I in your same official authority capacity as, you, as as a person as a citizen of the united states and of california i agree with that authority, part right? we're equals mm -hmm. so i agree in in that with that part. aspect it's kind of just like me saying, hey, man, like I would say to anyone else who's coming up and doing weird things, hey, just be careful for this stuff. I'm not telling you you can't go up and film it. Film it all you want. I don't care. You're allowed to. Just like I said in the beginning, you're allowed to. Right. It's kind of like, hey, man, I'm leaving, which is what I was going to do. <coughs> hey, cool. While you're out here, up here, just be careful for the state vehicles while you're out here. Yeah, I mean. I'm not saying don't film them. I'm not saying don't get right up to them. I'm saying be careful. Right, right. And it's like if the gate is opening and closing, it even has. Check it out. It even has a sign. Hey, careful! This can hurt. Yeah, and I filmed and that. Would yeah. Be wrong if I didn't tell you, hey man, be careful, or hey man, don't do this while you're out here. It's like, hey, you can't smoke 20 feet within the entrance. That kind of stuff. You already know it, sure, but people still do it. It's weird. Yeah. So anyway. just wait for somebody to to be doing it. But what I was getting at with the less less authority is you're right. When you take off the costume, the uniform and you're a regular person, yes, at that point, you have the same authority in the world, right? Just walking by each other, we have the same, we're, we're equal in the eyes of the Constitution, right? But when yeah, you're in that, when you're yeah. in that official capacity, and you talking to a citizen that has not done anything wrong, you have no reasonable suspicion of crime, you can't detain me, actually, you're what- You're detained, you know that, right? No, I know that. <laughs> and what, so what I'm saying is, when, when we're in that, mode you actually do have less authority because the citizens taxpayers pay your guys a salary you guys are public servants would you agree that you're a public servant yeah. so at that point public servant means public servant so the reason why we don't like that the little uh, additional directives it's is not it's my servant tell me what to do no and i'm not telling you what to do we 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 uh so employ you guys less to, authority it's that you have no authority over me at that time if you're not breaking the law, I have no authority over you. Well, it, it's that. it's a little less because right I mean, now you're working for like, or you're working for us, and it is semantics. Yeah. We don't have to go over. It's just that's why Did we don't like the. I I've so, been over there and I'm getting ready to go inside here in a second. Well, so here, come. I'll show you these signs because oh, I know cool. you're doing want to go inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm and definitely we going inside. Have inside right now, and that's uh, for our. Governor. Is that why these people are standing out here? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Call, okay, so you, your guys' office is closed. A lot of departments allow one or two people max, yeah. something like that. So, since we work for the state of California, it's a little different. We, we answer to the governor, right? Yeah. And you know Governor Newsom's orders right uh, now on far, as far as COVID. COVID yeah, and, yep. That's why I got my mask on, because I don't want COVID. Well, that, it's pretty chilly, and that probably helps, huh? Well, yeah, it's cold <laughs> as hell. <laughs> it changed like one day to the next. Hey, uh, can I pat you down, Mendoza, at all? I just want to search you a little bit. Is that cool? I think I've seen your uh, no? channel, man. <laughs> what? I think I've seen your channel. Oh, I'm sure you have. It's it's uh, getting a lot of attention right now. <laughs> I remember the pat you down thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people a lot of people say that. It's just we're interested I in, know, it's you know. Funny. So here's this. Okay. Due to COVID, front lobby will be closed. Okay, got it. So here's their, here's a, this is what I'm gonna do too, is I just gotta remember the phone number in case, oh, yeah, I, yeah. In case I need to call. As well. And then this is the same thing, just laminated, because that one's getting away. Cool. All right, and then we got another door over here. Cool, why don't you take me through the back? Well, we have no reason to take you to the back. Would it, I mean, could you though, it's if you same, wanted it's to? It's the same as in here. I can just I walk can't, through can't and come out the in. other gate? No? Oh, I, uh, you were doing good. I, I am doing great. Mendo I'm doing, here's the deal. I'm doing great because that's my job. I'm not allowed to bring you back there. You're doing all right. Yeah, okay, okay. You're following the rules. Yeah. I don't believe you, though. I think you could if you wanted to. Well, yeah. Come on, Mendoza. Let me pat you down. You look suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as happy as you. Same, same deal right here. <laughs> and then for FedEx. 
cool, but I couldn't come in there anyways because it says employees only. Right. I almost walked up and knocked on it, and then <laughs> you knock on it, and so then ran. Someone would probably peek through and be like, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah, no, I'm just playing. I, I wasn't gonna knock on it. All right. So yeah, I'll probably uh, there. yeah, I've I've recorded all those signs already. Oh, okay, so you got this one over here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it doesn't say so. public access or anything like that. Of course, I yeah, I see that. Good. Thanks for pointing that out. Yes, <laughs> to go back. We're here. we are very well. All right, here, let me rephrase that. I am very well trained in where I can be and cannot be, and where I can stand and cannot stand. <laughs> I make sure of it because if we make a mistake, a lot of officers, and again, not saying you guys, although Mendoza might be a little suspect, but they like to go hands on, you know, really fast. Um, and so if we make a mistake, then there's a legitimate reason and we don't want that. Plus I don't like to break the law. Cool, yeah. I got the flag, I got the flag at half, half staff. I got that, I got the star in the front, yep. So I'll just hang out here a little while longer and uh, and uh, try, to, try to figure out how I can frisk Mendoza. You sure you don't got nothing in your socks? Help me, help you with anything else, bud? You got feet in your socks? There you go. I like the sense of humor. No, 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 no. Hey, can we anything, can we get him against the against the wall or a little pat down? I don't think that's gonna happen. Why not? He might be okay with it. Come, come on, Mendoza. Biggest out of your channel. Someone else said, "Well, can, can, can I do it to you?" And he said, "No." There's some new guys over in uh, like Richmond or something like that. Rich, so rich, you know, not Richmond. No, 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 no. The Bay Area, right? What was that? It was over the Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah, there was like some new guys on FTO, right? Uh, damn, I don't know. I don't remember that one. It could, it could be, it could not be. I honestly, I've done so many recordings that I just don't remember. Oh, that one was funny. So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, some of them I just don't remember. Okay. Oh, there's a car coming out. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna go get some cars coming out. All right, man, hey, be safe. Watch out for the gate. You saw the sign. I don't want you to get hurt on it. Hey, Mendoza. Yeah. Next time I meet you, you better not have anything illegal. I see your demeanor. <laughs> that guy's hey, pissed off. Call if you need it, okay. okay. All right. All right. Hey, and, uh, well, what was your name again? James Morrell. And what what's your rank here? I'm an officer. You're just an officer, yeah. regular officer. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? 14 years now. 14 years, okay. So you're not new, that's why you're not all gung-ho weird, <laughs> right? The, I don't you, think you, I've ever been gung-ho weird. You get the I, new officers like that are people. like... I just like helping people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You can tell your demeanor, you do this for, for a real reason. That's cool, man. I don't come across... I'm going to be honest, I don't come across, across a lot of officers like you. It's yeah. usually the lieutenants and captains I talk to I'm that sorry, have yeah, a little yeah. more demeanor that, like you. Yeah. Sucks. No, it it is. Um, and what what's your opinion? Since I got you, what's your opinion on uh, on, on, on doing this? Go yeah, go ahead, sit down. And I'll you record you. To? No, I'm not no, sitting. I'm, <laughs> I'm sit. um, so yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted. What's your opinion on First Amendment audits? What do you think about I'm, them? I'm for it, man. I'm fine. That's, that's fine. You really are. Yeah. That's why, why I asked if it was an audit in the beginning because I wanted to do pretty much what we're doing now. Well, we I'm, typically I'm don't tell you guys, right? Well, I mean. We typically know, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're not dumb, some some officers think like, "Who's this guy recording my gate? I'm gonna get you." It's like, duh, well, dude, it's like a I freaking audit. There's nothing illegal about you recording it, right? Um, and I know you, I know you're intelligent, so I know you knew that. Yeah, it is suspicious, and that's usually what most of the guys like. You're you're pretty chill about it. There's a lot of guys that like to try and amp it up yeah. to see how the office is gonna react. Yeah. Right? And I'm not which, always which most of the time to me I think that's silly and annoying. Right. Because right, again, right, right, like right. I said, you take, as you put it, the costume off and we're just people. And I know if I'm Joe Citizen, I'm coming up to you and I'm being annoying, you're gonna be like, hey man, stop being annoying, get out of my face or whatever colorful language you want to use. Right, 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 right. So when people are like, oh I'm gonna press this guy's buttons just because he's in a position of um, public service as you put it uh -huh. i think that's silly because if you're going hey man this is another human being why am i going to go irritate purposefully another human being that's insane and yes i do agree though bringing probably what you're going to come up to we should be held to a higher standard because we have that position of, correct again using authority specific it's limited authority. authority yeah right? for sure um and yes and it is limited is is key in that key I agree. for sure um, you should be held to a higher standard and you shouldn't be going, Hey man, you called me a name, so I'm going to, I'm going to get you or something like that. That's stupid too, because then why, why do you have this job? Right. Just being a boy, right. right. 
but there's bullies everywhere in the world. This and, is and fucking think, awesome. So, but that aside, I think it's silly when people are like, hey man, I'm gonna go poke the bear just to see if the bear growls. There's bad parts to both sides. That, right, that's right. what you're getting at, but, yeah. But I'm all for audits, but I think people should be respectful as a citizen or a person in general anyways. Right. So coming up and audit that, hey man, I'm just, you know what, if, from the get go, if you're like, I'm just doing an audit. So everyone would be like, even the people that aren't familiar with anything, they'd be like, oh, I got it. He's doing this because of that. Now it's not suspicious anymore. It's like, that's your purpose. That's what you're doing, right? Yeah. Suspicion but is out the window. See, that the part of that is, is that is that you got the Fifth Amendment, right? So suspicion in itself, the Supreme Court's rule yeah, on this, no, right? No, I, suspicion, I, I know you know this yeah. this one? Okay, so so that's why the guys don't say nothing. So when we wrap it up, it's usually because the officer is being doing being something. Yeah, he's yeah. he's just. he's trying to give us directives like you did over there, which I was really cool about. But sometimes if an officer gives well, me I'm extra to directives. Over there. And so you jumped the gun on that one. I understand, hey man, like I, like I told you, because obviously you had an issue when well, I told you what it was before, <laughs> after the fact. It was like, hey, because... Basically, I wanted to leave it because I'm cold. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm cold now, but you seem like a cool guy, so it's worth talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just going to say exactly what I said earlier. It's like, all right, cool. Hey, you keep doing what you're doing. Just watch all those cars. Don't mess with them. Something like that. Right. Which is like, you're right. Doesn't need to be say, uh, said, but sometimes people need to be pointed out. Hey, man, it's 65 miles an hour on the freeway, but everyone's doing what? California, 75, 80. Well, we shouldn't huh. have to point out that it's 65. Right, right, right. We wouldn't right, be right. making stops if people were all doing it, right. not doing anything else. So obviously, we do need to point out something that is inherently obvious. Correct. Sometimes. Correct. And so, in me saying that, it's not a directive. That's not me telling you to do something. It's me going, hey man, this is a really obvious thing, but it seems like I need to tell it to you, right? Right. So, so I'll elaborate on that any more. What the reason why I was super cool with it is because it really wasn't a directive. So what no, I'm getting at is you shall not some this, officers. You know? yeah, yeah. Some officers are like, "All right, you can be here," and they don't say, "But just watch out for the cars." They say, "Don't go near that gate and don't cross this line and don't do that." And that's when we're like, "Hey, f you! I can yeah. do all that, yeah, right?" Well, that whole thing too. And so, like, well, then you're trespassing. It's like, well, it's, if you're trespassing, you'll find out that you're trespassing. Uh, because, like I said, I'm all for the audits and everything. You know, again, like you said earlier, you know where you can and can't be. It's obvious. Right. So, but, and so, so, I mean, the take on it, right, is that, like, you guys took your oath, right? Uh, an oath to uphold the Constitution when you became a police yeah. officer. And, for, for yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. part of it, right? And yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we want to see. Yeah. And in all honesty, like, like, I wish we had more cops like you, and I mean that well, sincerely. I just wish um, we had more common courtesy all around right like in the world human period. being to yes, human being you. right like right and that's pretty much the only reason i'm still out here because like i said you seem like a cool guy and i'm sorry it's gonna be a boring video <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be dude it's gonna be awesome video it's but, probably gonna get a lot of views because you're because um, of your demeanor so yeah. and and supporting audits i mean it's a good thing you know the There's district attorney of san francisco like supports audits and was an auditor and yeah. There's another officer out there I that's badass. Out in the, the San Francisco CHP office. Did you? Um, yeah, so. Cool. I don't know, this should be happening all the time for everything, every all aspects of government. Right? We should all be watched, right? But. I mean, you guys should be watched. You guys, the watch Senate, it. the freaking judiciary, everybody should, the district well, attorney, everybody should be overlooked. There should, there should be a good because, citizen audit for a lot of this. Could, because but there I, is a... I actually can't get into my whole opinion no, on No, 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 I know, I know. Any, yeah, yeah. So, uh, there's but, a, there's a level you. of corruption everywhere, you. and that's what so, we're out to stop. Uh, yeah. And we're only a few people, and we're just doing what we can. That's all it is, man. Yeah. So thank you. I appreciate hey, you. Yeah, we hey, can't shake hands, but you thank you very hand much. Yeah, 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 for sure. And some gun locks. <laughs> I don't know what I need them for, but well, I can I can give you hand sanitizer for free. That's for sure. Give okay. Me a second, all all right? right. Thank you. While this is closing, you can pee. No, I, I in all honesty, um, I'm not even interested anymore. You just gave it's me a boring, you just right? gave me a great video. Yeah, no, yeah. actually, you did. So you gave me a great video. So they got they got trophies in here and stuff. He said, "Why it's open? I yeah. can peek." Thank you. Appreciate it. He even squirted the hand sanitizer <laughs> for me. This guy is awesome, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. All right, not a problem, Take brother. care of yourself. Hey, you too. Get home safe. All right? Thank you. You too. That was cool. I'm not going to lie. I am very surprised. I'm going to put this down.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised and I am very impressed. That officer was just an officer here in the Fairfield California Highway Patrol. Um, and did you guys see his demeanor? I mean, for a minute, I think I got him shook up just for a minute when I said a couple things and, and, and maybe he got a little edgy, but he calmed it down right away. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna let you guys be the judge. Be the judge, Bay fam. What do you guys think about this cop? Uh, 14 years, just an officer. In my honest opinion, he needs to be bumped up in his rank. Um, and he was good. His partner, on the other hand, Mendoza, you could tell right away that he was just a jerk. He didn't want me there. He didn't like me. I mean, you could tell right away just by his answers and the questions. Maybe that's just his personality. But you could tell running into him on the street would not be as pleasant as running into officer i forget merrill or moral or something like that i forget his name but i will post it so honestly that was awesome that was awesome and uh respect to you if, if you're watching this uh respect to you man we need more police officers like you and that's for damn sure all right guys bay all right guys bay area transparency and i am out